Hello, I've got um, more of section double A from IXL's eighth grade math lessons. Um, systems of linear equations is what we're doing. Skill two is to solve a system of equations by graphing. So I've got four examples that should help you have a basis to kind of get through this lesson. So solve this system of equations by graphing. First graph the equations, then type the solution. So we have to not only know what the solution is, we have to graph them to figure it out. Okay. So here's my system. The nice thing is that uh, they are both in slope intercept form. So I can identify the um, slope of this first equation is three and its y intercept is one. So that makes it pretty easy to graph. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in green right here, uh, we've got our y intercept of one and our slope of three. That means from the one, we go up one, two, three over one. So y intercept of one, slope of three. The second equation, the one that's going to be in purple here, is going to have a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 2. Let's look and see what that looks like. A y-intercept of negative 1 right here and a slope of 2, up 1, 2, over 1. So that red arrow that I'm sure you're looking at is pointing at the solution to this linear system. So a solution is where they cross each other, the two lines. So it's at negative 2, negative 5. That is the solution. And what we're going to do also is we're going to take a couple seconds here to check our work. So just like in skill 1, uh, we identified what a solution or if a point was a solution. So I took the first equation, uh, 3x plus 1, and I plugged negative 2 and negative 5 in for x and y, and I can see that um, both sides are equal to each other when I simplified the right side of the equation. I'm going to do that same thing in equation number two here. I'm going to plug, plug in a negative two for x and a, a negative one for y. And again, yes, I can see that both sides do equal each other again. So that makes me know that I have the right solution. Let's do it again. Two more uh, equations here. It's called the system of equations. We're going to graph them and then look for where they intersect each other. The first one's got a y-intercept of five and a slope of one. There's actually a one in front of that x that we can't see. So first equation there, y-intercept of five, slope of one means up one over one. And that's where I plotted that second point. The second equation's got a y-intercept of negative one and a slope of negative one because it's negative one times x. That's what that negative sign in front of x means. So y-intercept of negative 1, and then from there we go down 1, right 1. That's its slope. And you can see where they cross at negative 3, 2. That should be our solution, negative 3, 2. So we'll check to see if that's the case. Plugging in negative 3 uh, for x and 2 for y, negative 3 plus 5 is 2. So that's good. It works in the first equation. Let's check and make sure it works in the second equation. Plugging in negative 3 for x and 2 for y. So negative x means the opposite of that negative 3, which is 3. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So again, we get a point that works in this equation. So since it works in both, it must be the right answer. Third example, solve this system by graphing. Okay, so this first one, uh, x minus 3y equals 9. There's a couple ways we could do this, but I think your best bet for this section is to learn something called... Uh, quick graphs, so by using x and y intercepts. So to figure out what the x-intercept of this graph is, we can just ignore this negative 3y. And you can see that x equals 9. So basically just get rid of the y term. To figure out the uh, y-intercept, we're going to get rid of the x term. So to figure out the y-intercept, we're going to get rid of the x term. And we get negative 3y equals 9. That doesn't mean the y-intercept is 9. We have to solve this equation by dividing both sides by 3, negative 3, and we get y equals negative 3. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. All right, so now I can plot those two points. I said my x-intercept was 9. That's over here. And my y-intercept is negative 3. There it is. Okay, um, we could have done some work to figure out that the y-intercept was negative 3 and then the slope is 1 -third. I can see that now. Uh, but I think this is our easiest route. I'll show you that again in just a second. As far as x equals 3, that's just a vertical line at 3. And there's where they cross at 3, negative 2. 3, negative 2. 
I've already shown you a couple times how to uh, check answers, so I think to save time here, I'm going to not bother with this one, but you can definitely check your answers, especially as you're getting up towards the challenge zone. All right, last one here. Uh, 3x plus 2y equals 6 is one of our equations. So that's in standard form. Whenever I've got an equation in standard form, uh, usually the easiest way to graph it, sometimes the easiest way to graph it is look for those x and y intercepts. So we're going to find the x-intercept. Remember what I said, to, to figure out what the x-intercept is, you just ignore the y term. So let's rewrite the equation without the 2y. We get 3x equals 6. And 6 is divisible by 3, so that's why this is going to be nice here. Just uh, divide both sides by x. Then we're going to ignore the x term, and we're just going to rewrite the equation uh, to find the y-intercept as 2y equals 6. Divide both sides by 2, and you've got the y-intercept of this equation. So the x-intercept is 2, the y-intercept is 3, there's a graph of it. A lot of that is mental math. You know, you're just thinking 6 divided by 3 is 2, so the x-intercept is uh, 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, so the y-intercept is 3. The second equation, I chose this one because it's got that fraction there. I don't want you to be afraid of that. It's got a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of negative 7 halves. So let's see what that looks like. Y-intercept of negative 1, slope of negative 7 halves means it goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and over 2. So where do they cross? They cross at negative 2, 6. They cross at negative 2, 6. Um, so that's my four examples. Again, this goes with... Um, Section AA, Skill 2 in IXL's 8th grade math. Good luck.